Hey everyone, Nathan Rose here. In today's lesson, I want to show you a really cool feature on chess.com that'll help you to learn something from the games you play. As they say, the shortest pen is longer than the longest memory, which means if you write something down and make a record of it, you're much more likely to remember it. Um, I really believe that every game you play has the potential to teach you something, whether it's something that you could have done differently or something that you did well that you can do again next time. But you're only going to find that lesson if you take the effort to look for it, which means you should analyze your games after you've played them. And the other thing is you need to have somewhere to keep those lessons so that you can bring them up when you need to remind yourself of them. And chess.com lets you do that. And I want to show you how to set it up for yourself. So what we've got here is the homepage of chess.com. I'm going to go into this pawn icon here. And the feature is called library. So we'll click there. You can see the collections that I've got set up already. I've got a few collections and you can create as many as you like on different themes. If that's the way you want to do it, you can do it on openings or you could do it on end games. You could have a different collection for tactics. I keep things pretty simple. I've just got three folders, one with my rapid games, one with the games that I play in real life over the board with real human opponents. And I've got this one, most instructive games. And that's what I want to show you today. If you're new to this, you, hadn't, uh, you haven't set this up before, we'll go to create new collection, give it a name, click create, and it's ready to go. We just don't have any games in it yet, so let's add one. I'm going onto my profile now, and I'm just grab one of the games that I played today. And what you want to look for is this little icon here, which is looks like a, uh, well, I guess it looks like a uh, building. Add to library. So we'll click that and add it to this new useful games folder that we created. So that's where it is. Now if we go back to the useful games collection and hit refresh, you'll see that the game's there. Now you can analyze the game and add your own comments to it. So we might want to just find a point in the game where there was something to learn. I remember this position, for example, this knight here on d5 was an annoyance throughout the middle game because I allowed white the chance to have an outpost. So what you can do is you can add a comment and I'll say allowing white to get an outpost on d5 was a mistake. I should have been more careful. That's a very basic example of a lesson that you can take away from a game. You might want to write more, you can write as much as you like. My approach is to just take one lesson from each game, which, which means that each game has a clear point to it when I look up the collection. You'll see what I mean later. You want to click save and then when you go back to the folder here um, you can see that the comment is now added. The extra step that I like to take is to also change the title of the game. So I'll just make a change here. Um, I'm not thinking too much here about the title. I just want to show you an example of what it looks like. Allowing outposts for your opponent is a mistake. I click save there. And now when you see the game, you can see that actually the title as it appears is a preview of the game. So let me show you what it looks like when it's all set up. If we go back to the library and the the various collections. Just hit refresh there so that we've got the useful games there as well. But this most instructive games folder, which is where I've been doing this process for the last few months, 
you click on it, you can see I've got a lot of lessons here. And each of them is one game with one lesson. So let's click on this one, for example. Before exchanges, ask if it helps you or your opponent. That's a nice lesson. And this game illustrates it for me. So I've got the position in the game, which reminds me of the lesson. It's right here, where I, as the black player, took on d1, but that helped my opponent. It helped him get a rook to an open file, which is quite illustrative of the point, the title of the game, and there's more comments there if I want to read more. So that's it. Once you've been doing this for a while, you'll have a good bank of lessons saved in your collection, which you can call up anytime you like, go through. I mean, I've got pages of them here. Um, and it'll help improve your game. Hope you found that useful. Let me know if you did. And please subscribe for more chess content. Bye for now.